Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to whatever this is. I don't know what this is. It's another complaining video. My name is JC as the owner of Founder Ruler. Can I take a deep breath? Grand Pooba of OCW and its subsidiaries of discretion is strongly advised. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, retweeting, and you know, passing on the good word while we're trying to make our grind to 500 subs. I know in the grand scheme of things, it ain't much, but to me, it means a lot. We've been at it for almost uh, 15 years, 15 years actually last October 5th. Uh, we've been on YouTube for since 2010, but we haven't really done anything for the last, I don't know, we haven't really gotten into motion with YouTube until the last uh, two years. So it's nice to see growth and views and discussion and likes and dislikes, the whole nine. We, we appreciate it. And if you want to listen to other things uh, besides my nonsensical ranting, you can check out our channel. We have all kinds of good stuff from our community, not just me. It's generally our community. They do all kinds of videos, matches, competing, role plays. It's dope. So subscribe if you want to. If not, you know, whatever. It's your life. Do what you want. So we're here to talk about 2K20. It is Sunday morning. I am having a coffee, which turned out to be an espresso. So if, uh, because I'm suffering from gigantic fatigue for the past couple of days, fatigue, not from fatigue from 2K20, but just fatigue in general, but you don't care about that. So give me a second while I sip. So now the end. Um, as of Friday, 2K released a statement on WWE 2K20. The irony is that on Friday, I was actually going to do a video, you know, complaining about the lack of communication and 2K decided to give us this, this wonderful nugget of hope, if you will. But, um, it's like a transformer, son, more than meets the eye. So if, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, 2K20 is a bug filled garbage dumpster fire mess. There's, you, you could, you could make. There's there's videos you can just Google glitches and on 2K20 and you'll find them. I wish I would have to have the time to sit down and do all that, but I got a 20, I got a you know nine to five. It's it's tough because there's a lot to dig through. Even the stuff I get is just in passing from from Twitter. All the glitches, there's so many. So 2K released a statement on Friday, and not so much as typing it on Twitter. Nah, they didn't even do that. They basically copy and pasted a photo of said statement. I pulled up the statement because. You, you know, in general, the way it works is when, you know, it's always it's never enough. Like, oh, we want we want this. And then they give it to us I'm like, oh, it's not enough. Like, for example, I said that, I you know, I would just like some form of communication to say, you know, what's happening and to to bring light to it and let us know that, that you know, they understand and they're working for it. So in essence, they kind of did that. But when you read the statement, like, I, I don't want to be one of the people go, oh, it's not enough. But in this case, like, I don't want to move the goalposts, but let's be, let's call, let's call it like we see it. Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it a buck. The statement that they release on Friday for 2K20 is horseshit. So I'm going to read it to you and you, we can dissect a little bit and then we can see if we can come to the same conclusion because, you know, I think one way you can think another way and we can disagree. That's the beauty of this channel. At least we can agree to disagree and we can still be friends because, you know, life is about discourse. You, don't, you can't always agree 100 percent with somebody. You got to, you know, little changes. That's how that's what makes the world go around. That's what gives us the flavors. But enough about that. Here's a statement from, from 2K as of Friday. We are listening closely to the feedback that's been shared regarding WWE 2K20 and, unaware, and are aware of the concerns some players are reporting. <laughs> We're working hard to investigate these concerns and address them as necessary. We expect to have an initial patch ready in two weeks with others to follow. Stay tuned to WWE Games social media channel for, channels for more information. End quote. <sighs> okay, so... Let's let's now dissect that uh, that graphic file, that JPEG, because it wasn't even 2K couldn't even go as far as to give us a fucking tweet. They just give us a copy paste uh, from probably from someone's fucking notepad or, or WordPad or whatever they use. They probably use Corel because they 2K looks like they use Corel fucking my mouse. OK, so it's a bullshit press release. First of all, some players some players some fucking players are you are you shitting me so hold on step of the coffee for the working man you know i had to actually go back and and add add to this part and this little pause section some players because I, I was as i rendered the video i was thinking about some players 
some players. It's it is it is remarkably irritating to see some players. Are you fucking kidding me, son? For real. Like just right now, right? Right when I was writing this video, I, I looked on on my feed and I already saw like four melted faces. Apparently there's another bug now that for your, your your face on your call melts. You can't use a logo up the uploader. Uh Batista's entrance, which you'll hear later, glitches. Uh fucking, you know, moves break. Gigantic frame losses. Cars don't load. Cars get erased. Fucking, you know, duplicate duplicate uh, uh stuff in in creator in the the creation suite some players the fucking audacity to just say some players you fucking disingenuous lion sacks of shit man fuck man for real that is some players what is it like is it like maybe i don't understand some some players this is this is yo 2k20 is like is like herpes bro one you're like one in three have it I don't, I don't know son some players just it's more than some actually my, my previous examples are poor or poor analogies it might be considered something like something that's usually common in in humans because it's not some players it is most if not all players except for a few fucking mamby pamby uh, uh ball washes on reddit or super WWE fans that just, you know, want to fucking suck off Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Oh, I love Braun Strowman and, and, and the Fiend, the Fiend, the Fiend, the Fiend, the Fiend. Because it's not some players. It is a lot. And I'm not, look, I'm not trying to discount, you know, players who haven't had any issues. But when you're telling me you have had any issues and you're like, well, the game is fine. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Fuck off a bridge. No, that's rude. <laughs> fuck off a pier. But you have to learn how to swim if you're gonna fuck off the pier, because that's you know you gotta be careful with your words. But you get what I mean, son. It's you get out of here, son. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge like this. Like this, let, let's let's put it in perspective. In perspective, this is just a piece of software that is not ready for release. In the grand scheme of things, that's what that is. In the grand scheme of things, we are just a few folks, a couple thousand, who are missing. 60 to 135 dollars that's a lot of money but in the grand scheme of things of life it doesn't mean anything what it does mean though is it's a symptom of a cause that's been going on as the years progress when it comes to triple a titles this is just this is not one this is, this is something that's been happening for years and it just keeps getting progressively progressively worse as more and more developers are deciding that they can take liberties with our fucking financial status because they don't give a fuck at the end of the day they're just trying to make money and they don't care if it's if it's a good product if it's a bad product as long as they can get money from us as a collective group of people they don't give a shit they don't care about us that's what i'm trying to tell you they don't give a fuck about us so in in, that, in our case we got to do the same and say we don't give a fuck about y'all until you do your job and your job is to provide compelling content for us to spend our hard-earned money on you motherfucker so for them to sit there and say some is incredibly disrespectful disingenuous and a fucking embarrassment i have to come back and add this because it's so stupid thinking about some some suck my dick with some how how much of a fucking non-answer is that shit some some players go go on, on twitter right now and just type ww2k20 and you will see like for every fucking every every one just every one i got to play jinder mahal versus aj style it was great i got to use carmella and nikki bella it was fine there was like fucking 17 others like hey this is broken some some my dick 2k fucking how dare you maybe that's why you copied and pasted because you wanted to attach to your fucking profile i just it's fucked up. I don't like it, man. To say it like just thinking about it, some. It's not some. It is like most, if not all, bro. For real. If you if you're not having any issues, cool. Fantastic. But you know what? You will have an issue. But you'll just sweep it under the rug because you don't care. Maybe it's mommy and daddy's money. Or maybe it's just too stupid. Maybe you're just that much of a WWE mark that you don't care. Save us. Hashtag Ukes. Save us. Hashtag AEW. Yeah, I said it, man, because, yo, this is oof. And now back to our scheduling schedule scheduled program. On a Sunday, on God's Day, doing podcast or whatever this is. You, you got to, the fact that they put some plays, that, that alone, the, you know what it is? The, the PR speak, 
or for those of you who don't know what PR speak means, public relations speak, it's like those those general boilerplate responses. And here's another thing too, boilerplate. What boilerplate means is basically you you ask somebody, yo, I need a boilerplate response, and they just pull up something and basically they just use that for everything regarding that particular situation. So in this case, hey, yo, I need a boilerplate response for uh, a buggy game, or I need a boilerplate response for tr- uh, for a uh, uh, failure known failure software. We got your Ted real quick. Here you go. Um, yeah, it's just a generic response. You kind of remove, uh, you kind of like there's parts where you like where we say game or software and you just remove that and put WWE on it. And that's it. It's a, it's a bullshit response. It's not a real response. And it's not only that, but it's also it's also tone deaf, tone deaf. Rather, if you notice, if you notice in this response, there's not there's not even an apology. Right. There's not there's not a any kind of mea culpa, any kind of. Yeah, we know, we, you know, there's not a human response. You get what I mean? That's in, in, in general, us players or gamers or people in general. At the end of the day, we just want like a, a, a human response. Like it's not difficult to say to say something like, OK, hey, guys, we know that we had a rough release. We, we had a rough re- uh, WWE games is where we had a rough release in 2K20 may not meet players expectations at this time. We're working hard. Or we're working hard with our support staff to to overcome some of these obstacles we apologize and we will have a patch for you uh uh, roughly two weeks it will keep you guys posted thank you for your patience stuff like something like even even if they said thank you for your patience we could still be like oh but you know we bought the game but at the at the very least at least we would have a human response not a corporate bullshit pr speak so the funny thing about this is is let's let's call it like we see it let's keep it 110 percent ww 2k20 is a beta release game it might it might even be considered alpha the fact that they said some players, some players, shut the fuck up, man. For every 25 players you got saying that something's broken, something's not working, you got one mamao, one fucking sangano saying, oh, it's fine for me. Yeah, we don't give a fuck that you're playing Seth Rollins versus Seth Rollins. Suck a dick, like, for real. No no one cares. On top of that, you got, you know, the Reddit on the 2K Reddit is just basically in spin mode, trying to downplay every you know they it's it's known they, they're downplaying everything trying to be like oh it's it's great it's fine it's not man come on dude we spent 60 120 90 bucks on a beta game and you guys didn't even have the fucking the 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 nuts the the, the honor if you want to use that word to just be like hey man we're sorry we're fixed sorry <laughs> we're sorry we're fixing it we got your back we don't even have that i mean it's it really is the, when I think that 2K could sink no lower, they find a way to find that bottom. Man, it's it's so it's so bizarre to me. The some some you can just check right now and you will find more than some. Uh, actually, the best glitch for 2K is the Batista glitch. He's basically Batista comes out and once he does the pyro and he, he does the fist, the goddamn game freezes and locks up and just goes into a fucking infinite loop. Come on, man. When you go to call, when you go to create a uh, wrestler there's there's duplicates of of the same item like so you'll have like four of the same knee pad with different numbers on them but they're the same exact same duplicate natalia attire like it just there's so many things that show that this is just this wasn't uh qa or quality assurance tested and if it was it's a fucking lie look look at the people who are in charge right now uh i don't know it's a mike james i can't I, I forget his name whoever the dude is the white guy he was responsible for fucking uh you know the mlb franchise taking a goddamn nosedive look up look up his name you'll see you'll see it there was an mlb franchise that he took over and summarily the the quality of that franchise was listed as copy and paste and just went into the dumpster and my man jinxy who uh, who wants to be like that you know it's it's great to not have ukes on their ass uh jinxy fella he's responsible for, he was one of the head art directors for 2k15 and remember how everyone looked like plastic ken doll so he's back on the scene crispy and clean for 2k20 making it look worse with a higher position I'm not one to say that to lose your job. Hold on. I'm never one to say to lose your job over something like, you know, over something because, you know, we need money. It's tough out there. But I, at the very least, these 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 dudes need a demotion or something. We need people who know what the fuck's going on to step in because we also learn. Uh, and I don't know if I covered this in the last video. If I didn't, I, if I did, I apologize. But we're going to go over real quick from there was a, a Ukes, uh I believe a Brian Williams, he had um 
he had a, a an interview with Dre 41 Gaming. You can check that out. Uh, just just Google it. You'll find it from September. And it came to light that Ukes actually hasn't been in the fold for the past year on 2K on 2K20 at all. So the idea we were led to believe was that you know Ukes was 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 dropped in in August, and it was up to uh, VC Visual Concepts to just build everything up in this amount of time. And oh, Ukes left us out to dry. No, as we learned. You know, THQ at one point wanted Ukes out, but knew they couldn't afford to get them out of the out, out of the paint because Ukes was providing the backbone for everything. We found out that 2K wanted Ukes gone from the get go because they didn't want to they didn't want to pay them because Ukes works really hard. And I'm not I'm not trying to ball wash Ukes because for everything that that you know Ukes does well, there's also a lot of inconsistencies. But the the one thing you can tell with Ukes is is, is that Ukes worked hard on the game. There was intense grinding sessions so far back as January where crunch time, if you don't know what crunch time means, crunch time means when the game is about to be released that everyone's working like 110 hours a goddamn week sleeping under their desk to make sure the product is done on time. They were doing that back in January. I can bet you dollars to donuts that didn't occur for visual concepts. I don't know. It might be a Japanese to American thing or it just might be the visual concepts was just coasting. The fact of the matter remains is, and we, we've touched on this multiple times, that this game was not ready for release, period, at all, at fucking all. And 2K decided to just go forward with it. And rather than 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 have, you know, the uh, uh, whatever the word you want to use to to specify that they fucked up, they give us this bullshit response. And then you got Reddit downplaying all this all this shit as as always. It's it's just it's annoying. This refunds galore. If you look at the reviews, the reviews are fucking in the tank on Metacritic. It's like at a uh, uh, for something I think and if you uh, the user scores about one point something with the lowest rated WWE game of all time good job good, good fantastic um, there's refunds galore except for Sony because Sony refunded a couple of folks and then people people thought that uh, assumed that Sony was refunding everybody no that's not the case so Sony just said go fuck yourself but if you can get a refund by all means go for it it just bothers me man like it's not even so much the waiting because I'll tell you one thing GameStop didn't even call me for my pre-order they left me alone so I got I got like 70 bucks sitting that that I, I guess I got to convert to game credit or some shit like that it's annoying I gotta get my money back no oh great wonderful fantastic you really can't yoke the GameStop employee it's not their fault that software is buggy and coffee for the working man so when you think about it there, there was a term uh, from software developers and I, I wish I knew the the name for it i read I, I wanted up reading it online and i wish i i'd copied it but i didn't but basically it's something like known failure or or known something when the developers know the product is 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 beyond repair and they ship it anyway that's what that is that's what 2k20 is that's a known failure or whatever the word is if you know the word please put it in the comments below so i so i have the terminology because I was trying to pull up developer terminology. I couldn't find anything. The thing is, I know the developers, but I don't even want to bother them. Hey, man, if uh, what do you what what do you what do you call the thing when the software is broken, but they still do it? Because the developers I know actually ship software that's actually bug free, so they probably wouldn't even know what the goddamn thing is. It's crazy, though, man. It's it's crazy, and it really is just another another ditch to dig for two K twenty. As a, as a fan of wrestling games, man, this wasn't the case back in the day, man. It really wasn't this day one horse shit, like. 2k literally told like bethesda oh you trash hold on hold, hold, hold my bed i'm gonna show you what trash is like like bethesda had fallout uh uh whatever that stupid service and wwe's 2k still manages to make fallout look like better people i mean if you wanna if you wanna go further check out the uh twitch rivals stream and shout out to cm post and denk ops for coming in number one and two that the the twitch rivals stream was a fucking disaster man like i mean think about it the funny and the funny thing about the twitch the the twitch rival stream is that you had you know it's supposed to be for i guess the u.s players and you had a fucking uh guy who wasn't from the u.s in there hmm strange funny and there was a lot of 2k content creators who weren't even invited i think uh what's my man's name i think phoenix nitro actually said that it was uh uh, excuse me affiliates were able to go but they were never they didn't know that they could because shit i'm an affiliate motherfucker add me the list we would have smoked you motherfuckers and got ourselves 50k anyway besides that i'm joking um 
Yeah, if you look, if you look at the the Twitch rival stream, we didn't get any word from WWE regarding the game itself, but we got nonsense over the Twitch rivals. So we're watching Twitch rivals, and I had to turn it off, man, because uh, I guess during the fight, well, not even throughout the whole thing, it was just a lag, bug filled mess. But when you were watching Dank and and um and Pulse fight, right, like they would go for a pin, and you would just see the frame drop to like point five. And it's not like it's not like a just a quick dip. No, it was like it just he go for a pin and one a, a three second pin would take about maybe twenty five seconds. And you can see the disgust in both Dank's and Pulse's faces. So the camera was like the Twitch stream. I mean the rivals thing was switched to different cameras. And then you had the, the WWE guys saying, "Oh man, it must be they must have really bad lag on their side, like to blame their connections." Come on, son, like you. <laughs> It's a fucking train wreck, bro. And this is what we're supposed to use online. This is this is uh, when my man said online is the way the game is meant to be played with your friends. No, it's not. Because if that was the case, we wouldn't even have this horrible shitty ass netcode, bro. You had over a, you you had over a year to fix it to to make this playable, and this is what you gave us. You know, you want to blame Ukes, but the bottom line is this this falls squarely on your shoulders, VC, Visual Concepts, slash 2K. This is squarely on you. This is not Ukes' fault. This is your fault, period. Because you tried to play it out like you had, like, last minute to put all this stuff together, but you had a year and change. Let's remember, Ukes did not work on 2K20 at all, period. So when 2K19 shipped, that was the last game that Ukes had any hand in, and that was shipped back in October. But, but if you remember... The, the rollout for the games is anywhere between 12 and 10 months. So this is 10 months of visual uh, visual concepts best work. That is fucking embarrassing. As a developer, as a fan, as a, as any that is fucking embarrassing. This should yo 20 shouldn't even been been out. As people specified, you guys should have put your spoopy content as optional DLC to 2K19 and spent that time building towards 2K21. You could even call it. You could even call WWE 2K20, but maybe an expansive map, not map pack, but you know what I'm saying. All that goofy shit. You could have had that as functional DLC content throughout the year while you worked on and and cemented 2K21. But you know, you know how how yearly releases go. I kind of hope low key that 2K loses the WWE license because they don't deserve the IP at this point. As much as I hate to say it, but maybe. Maybe it's time for EA to grab uh, to grab the torch because if you look at EA, um, you know uh, UFC three from the EA game and Geoff Geoff and whatnot, it's not a, a, as big a game as WWE, but it is it is consistently worked on for the past three years. Weekly, monthly, you will find an update from Geoff regarding the mechanics on the game, on the online play, and anything in between. It is amazing to see the amount of work that they, they still put into that game, despite it being three years old. That's what we need for, for the WWE franchise. We need people who care about the franchise. We need people who care about the quality of the product. We need people who care about the legacy of the product. We don't need people who are trying to make a quick buck, which is 2K. And by, by, by more extension, WWE, maybe WWE needs to switch the fucking game model. Because at this time, these, these kind of games... You know, we're basically play, paying anywhere from 60 to $120 yearly for a subscription. This is basically what it is because this only lasts for about a year. So why don't you just convert that into an actual, you know, free to play model? Maybe, maybe, maybe break it down like that. Different, different portions. It sucks, but that might be the, the course of action. Honestly, this might be the best way that this franchise can move forward and, and you know, provide some kind of, you know, functionality to the clients. We could have it like... Like League of Legends, man, that, you know, they submit old characters like you get maybe maybe one month you get Ricky Steamboat and his moves or you get, uh, you know, original Shield Seth Rollins or sh shit like that. Just different little things you can add or spoopy content. And then maybe when you finally get your shit together to make a better game, you 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 call that like, uh, you know, WWE Live update 2K21. And then that's when the whole gameplay shifts or whatever season like three or 20, whatever the hell you want to name it. But you could, maybe you would do that. And that might help mitigate the unrelenting disaster that this fucking release has been. And again, I want I want to say to all the people who are just wandering on Twitter on Reddit, like, oh, it's fine to me. Fuck you. Seriously. Like, I'm not as, as violent as I was earlier, but it's just it's because it's Sunday morning. But yeah, you, you're not helping the situation. And what else? 
uh, GameStop. Yeah, no, they have contact there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So, we have two weeks. We have two weeks to wait for a patch. Uh, and Monday. Oh, yeah. Monday, there's no patch. I also want to touch base on all the folks that told me before that I'm a moron that we'll have a day one patch. We had a day one patch and it was nothing. <laughs> a 20 gig nothing patch. That patch was probably there to fix. It's just when you think about, you know, everything that's happened the past couple of weeks, they even lied to the Twitch, uh, the, the influencers. If I hate that word. The Twitch streamers, people. The YouTubers. Because when the YouTubers were playing the, the copy of the game that we saw, that we have, they were told, oh, no, 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 there's a, there's a patch coming. That's, uh, you know, that's not going to be in. It was 100%. And they were lied to. They were literally lied to, son. They were literally fucking lied to. And no one seems to bring that up. No one brings that up, which is really weird to me. They were straight up, no bullshit, fucking lied to by these developers. Go look at the, the goofy videos that, that people are pulling up. It shows. It's, cra- it's fucking crazy that this is where we are. And this is what we accept. As as players, as gamers, like you, we we collectively are a bunch of fucking my mouths, like suckers, to be played by this bullshit. I would suggest you speak with your wallet. I would, su- I would suggest you speak with your with your money. But you know, who am I? I'm just a fucking random dude on the internet about WWE 2K20. So we have two weeks. We're we gonna revisit this in two weeks. Let's let's see what happens with the patch. With this, it's gonna take more than one patch. To fix this there is so there is so so many broken brokenness like people can't even upload they can't even use the uploader for fuck's sake at all so we're gonna see what happens so as usual thank you for listening to my ranting and raving if you like it pass it on to your friends if you don't you know put a download on it do what you want to do thank you so much enjoy your sunday and uh, we'll see you we'll see you in a couple of days maybe we'll see what's up and take it easy and as always uh i don't have a catchphrase so yeah as always keep it cool i don't i don't know i gotta catch phrase i forgot to mention if uses a wwe creator hell even a wrestling fan creator on youtube or twitch or whatever and you want to come on and shoot the breeze regarding this kind of stuff yo holla i would love to talk to you when i can make time to do it I like chopping it up with people on this genre because it's a small niche of a niche but it's also a really dope niche so again if you're interested holla at your boy now you can holla at your boy that sounds ugh, ugh. <laughs> Hit me up if you want to. All right, we're done. Now, officially, now we are done. Thank you for listening. I'm sorry it went on too long. And if you leave your comments below, have a wonderful night, day, morning. It's morning right now. Bye.